Alright, yeah, and welcome back to some more Magic Jewels. Uh, apologies for the late upload of these videos. I've had a very busy week, so unfortunately I haven't been able to get out uh, the Magic videos like I'd hoped for. Um, thankfully, I had a backlog of other stuff as well, which is why the channel hasn't gone quiet due to me being busy. Anyway, guys, this week's deck is brought to us by Brian Primley, and it's a mono black mid-range beatdown kind of deck. It's a lot of fun, and I hope you enjoy it. If you haven't checked out the deck tech, then be sure to do so immediately. Alright guys, I'll see you in the games. Alright, we're in. And on the draw, we have turn 2 Smuggler's Copter into turn 3 Liliana with a bit of removal back up. And obviously we're on the draw as well, so there's an extra card here. We've got all the lands we're ever going to need, so I think it's a good enough hand. Could do with an extra creature though, so we can actually... Uh, Protect Liliana, potentially. And also, crew up our Smuggler's Copter, of course. Uh, Sky Sovereign. It's not the kind of creature I was uh, talking about, but okay. Still got another turn to find one. Is this Vampires? Nope, it is not. It is a random mishmash of strange little creatures. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Okay. More lands, we're getting flooded. Don't like our odds anymore. Smuggler's Copter. Coming down. Well, at least uh, Liliana can kill any of these creatures whenever she feels like it next turn. As long as he doesn't get any counters on him. <laughs> Blue in here as well. What is this deck? I don't, I don't understand it. And a Nissa. Alright. You're a bit far away from flipping her, so I'm not in any rush to kill. And the other smuggler's copter. We are drawing so terribly. Right, Liliana's coming out. As long as he doesn't have pump, she is going to survive. Let us kill the aristocrat. That can potentially do a lot of work. Then next turn, Liliana kills the Visionary, and then we murder the Nissa. As long as she doesn't die. Coming at Lily. And no pump. Okay. Good, good. More lands. Yay! Flooding. Alright, kill that. Play a swamp. Pass the turn. See what he wants to do. If he wants to hit us with Nissa, then I'm not in any rush to murder it. But if he goes at Liliana, then we will murder. Yep. Alright. Short of a blossoming defense here. She's dead. She's dead. Alright. Any other creatures or shenanigans in your hand? No. Alright. Now we're talking. Alright. Plus one Liliana. Play our swamp. And we'll hold off on Sky Sovereign just so we can get that extra bit of value. It's not as if we have a creature to crew it with anyway. So we'll play the other smuggler's copter. And pass the turn. We might be going for a Liliana ultimate in this game. Necromantic summons. Going for the Nissa. How many counters is it? Two. Oh no, there's no uh, spell mastery. So we're alright. She's gonna die again, I think. Yep, she's gonna die again. Cool. Sky Sovereign can deal with it. Or Gear Hulk. <laughs> Gear Hulk works as well. Okay, well. Noxious Gear Hulk, let's gain a little bit of life off of that. Kill your Nissa. Yes. Plus Liliana. And crew with the Gear Hulk to loot away this Rogue's Passage. Probably not going to need it. The Unblockable's nice, but we have Menace and 
Plenty of ways of removing creatures. Yes. Ah, uh, well, we're keeping it over a swamp. We have hit nearly every single land off the top of our deck, I think, this game. Ridiculous. Fleshbag. Okay. It's not a threat to Liliana, though, but it does get rid of our gear hulk. Yeah, I can bounce back a creature with uh, Liliana. So whenever we feel like it, we can get back the uh, the gear hook. Let's go, gifted Etherborn. We're gonna hold the Rogue's Passage in our hand, just in case we want to keep the card on top, because we certainly don't want to get rid of Sky Sovereign. So we'll see what we get. And it's an Erebus's Titan. We have four mana up. We'll play it more threats on the board and it's indestructible as long as he doesn't have any creatures which means that the black that he's playing as well what is this deck <laughs> I don't get it all right plus go and pass What you got for us? Absolutely nothing. Okay. Well, that's going to be game. But we'll play it out. It ain't over yet. He's only at 16. Three life lower than us, but unless he's got absolute crap in his hand. I'm assuming maybe it's all full of lands. Or he's just a little bit tired of our Liliana and doesn't think he can get rid of her. So... Under that assumption, we should probably start pushing for uh, Liliana Ultimate there. Should have probably uh, looted up there with the Smuggler's Copter. That was a mistake. Also, Yeheni. We'll play him next turn. He has haste. Actually, we'll play him now. Screw it. We can give him Indestructible if we want. And it allows us to crew up if he's got some hasty shenanigans. So we got nine power on the board. That aristocrat is not going to be able to stop us. In fact, it's likely to pump your honey anyway. And a swamp into a pass. Okay. Plus Liliana, killing the aristocrat. Gives Yeheni a counter, makes Erebus' Titan indestructible. And... Let's crew up, because we can. It's an extra bit of damage, and we get two loots. Not that we need them, but... Sure. It's a swamp, we hit another land. Alright, we got insanely mana flooded, but we still managed to pull a game out of this. Skill Leaf Winner, we'll get rid of. That was ridiculous, those draws. Not bad, though. Alright, guys, I'll see you in the next game. Okay, we are in. And on the draw, we have two lands into an Implement of Malice. We can probably hit a land in that time to read the bones and refill a hand. This seems pretty good. I am not taking any kind of hands with no lands in them. To say this deck has 24 lands in it, I have been mana screwed an unreasonable amount of times. I think I'm finally entering the unlucky stage of my magic career. It's always in waves where you get stupidly lucky and then you get mana screwed in really land heavy decks consistently and that seems to be where I am right now so yeah alright finds himself a forest goes into play because he does have a wastes on the field and we don't hit a land we do hit an implement of malice though so we can strip his hand a little bit next turn and hit our land drop potentially if we don't draw into one 
right now, really, all we want to be doing is hitting our land drops and playing on curve, so... Green, blue, colourless. So this is some sort of Eldrazi deck. Almost certainly. Not a land, so... I'm gonna do the only thing we can do this turn. Make him discard a card, and we draw a land. Yes! Alright. Fortunately, we don't have any two drops to actually uh, do anything with. But next turn, we can get Yeheni down if we want to do that. Oath of Liliana if he puts down a big creature. Telling time for our opponent. Let's look at three cards, put one on top, one in his hand, and one on the bottom. Nice bit of filtering for him. Another Wastes into a Thought Not Seer. Alright. Well, he's going to lose that, we're going to draw off of it, but he gets to take the best card out of our hand. I'm assuming he's going for Obnixilus. He might go for the card draw, actually, which would... Personally, what I would hate for him to take, but he goes for the Obnixilus. Alright. We weren't in any rush to cast that. There's a murder. I think we'll go with the Oath of Liliana while there's a decent target for sacrifice. As opposed to a Scion token that's probably going to come down later and make these Oaths really bad. So, make him sack. He lets us draw. Hopefully we hit a land. Come on, land. Sky Sovereign. Not a land. Quite the opposite. Something we're far off from casting. Another Thought Not Seer. Yet again. He maybe wants to start stripping of, us our, of our removal, in all honesty. But I reckon he's still going to go with one of our higher drops if he took Obnixilus last time. I think I'd take Murder, to be honest. He goes with Sky Sovereign. I'd take Murder because I'm forced to use Oath of Liliana here and then make him sack it and then... Um, then we're out of removal for his bigger creatures, but I don't really know what's in his hand, so... Who could say? So, Oath of Liliana, Legend Rule 1. Make him sack a creature, lets us draw a card. We already hit a land drop this turn, so I don't want to see another land. We get a Smuggler's Copter. Alright. Well, now if I do hit a land, we get to Smuggler's Copter and Yeheni in the same turn. Blight Herder. Gets to stick those two exile cards in the, the graveyard. And gets himself three Scions. We have a murder for you. Which is good. So we really do want to hit a land drop here. Because then we can murder and smuggle his copter. Which is the most efficient play we could make. Yeheni's expertise. Gets rid of his Scions. Means that we have to use a murder with the secondary ability though. Huh. Alternatively, we could read the bones and scry into a land. We hit our land, we smuggle as copter, we leave the board alone. And then next turn, we guilt leaf win over the blight herder. Leaves him with his scions around though. What's he on mana wise? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine potentially. So he's not anywhere near Ulamog yet, but he's getting close. It's still a really horrible thing that he could get. I think I will read the bones. Our life total is still a resource that we can spend. Oh my god, are you kidding me? We'll keep him one of them. We get a mind bender. Nice. Alright, play a land, smuggle this copter. Pass the turn. So now we can win our crew up our smuggler's copter and start looting. Fix our hand a little bit. I don't think this Yehani's expertise is going to be much better than a simple wiping of Scions, to be honest. Gets in with everything. Seven damage. Down to 11. This is on tap land and creature, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yep. Untaps his colors. That either is because it doesn't matter what he untaps or he's got like warping whale I think it is or spatial contortion that kind of thing 
Spatial contortion for our smuggler's copter would be my guess. Um, still think we go guilt leaf when we're here and get rid of his blight herder. Doesn't survive Yanni's expertise though. That's the thing. Alternatively, we've got Yaheni into Scrap Eat Scrounger. But he's got blockers, so we're not getting through. Murder and Scrap Eat Scrounger. But then we're not attacking. Ah, dear. I think we'll just win a Kill that. Yep. Let's find out if he has Spatial Contortion. I'm not holding back. I need to kill that Kiara. Leaving Planeswalkers around is just not a good idea. And that's a pause. There's your Spatial Contortion. Well, he allowed us to loot. Oh, he's going for Winnower. Sure. We get another Smuggler's Copter. Ugh. Do I really even want that? I can get rid of Scrap Eat Scrounger because I can actually bring it back in the future. Take Kiara down to two, which means she can only do the top ability, which puts her still in range of Smuggler's Copter. So short of removal, she's dead next turn. Removal or flyers, anyway. Oh, you go for the minus. Alright. Did me a little bit of a favour, although... Yeah, I don't like to see any of that. What is it? You can take a creature or a land. So it's either the Drowner. Which did you take? Yeah, you took the Drowner of... Drowner of Hope. Which is not bad for us because we can Yenny's expertise with a murder on top of it. Which wipes his board clear. So we take three here. And it's time to wipe that board of yours. Play a swamp. Kind of need our, our drops here. Yehenny's expertise. Kills everything except for the Drowner, which we then murder. We get to play our other Smuggler's Cop to them as well. Which ain't bad. But now we really start need, need to start putting the pressure on because as long as we keep doing this, Walker of the Wastes. Ah! Stop it with these horrible things. Ooh, Grasp. Grasp takes it down to a 2-2. We could block, crew, sack, make it a 3-3 indestructible. Oh, no, it wouldn't be a 3-3 indestructible, sorry. It has to be an opponent's creature that dies. Hmm. Put Kotha fed down. But if he plays a Wastes, then it's out of range. Although, that just means that he's got nothing in hand, then. We have our Scrounger we can bring back. That's two mana. Leaves up four mana. To not really do anything but play Yeheni or Grasp, which doesn't help us out too much because the Scrounger can't block, so we can't block and Grasp. But we could block there and Grasp if he doesn't play a Wastes. I think I'd just rather play Kothafed here. Just hoping that's not removal or a wastes. Because then we can block and we'll draw off of it as well. So that'll hold him off for a little while. 
If he doesn't play anything, then maybe we can mind bender, but it's a matter of reshaper here by the looks of it. Does he want to trade? He wants to try. Alright, let's try. Alright. So we lose one, but we draw a card. It's a murder. Nice. Ooh, gifted etherborn. Alright. I think we're going to Yeheni. Attack in. See if he wants to block. If he blocks, we reanimate the scrounger. Sack it again. Makes Yeheni indestructible to survive the attack. Gets a counter on it. And we can even use the Aetherborn. Oh no, we can't afford to do all of that, unfortunately. Ugh. I think we Yeheni. I'd rather him lose the reshaper in such a way that doesn't cost us a card. But you can't always get what you want. Alright. I think we can reanimate the scrounger now, which allows us to crew up a copter pre-combat. He's going to know what's coming. But at least this way we're actually doing a little bit more. We'll get rid of the Winnower, I guess. We're doing a little bit more than just trading off a creature here. So, crew up. And swing. We get to loot, which we're going to do. Since Swamp, I'll get rid of it. Yep. So we sacrifice the scrounger. Makes your henny indestructible, so we force him into a chumping situation. He does get to look at the top card and get a little bit of advantage out of it. Which is a void grafter. Flashing 2-4 gives another creature hexproof. Okay. But he's already done that now, so. loses the value by putting it onto the battlefield. Well, to a certain degree, anyway. Getting in for two. And passes. Oh, we get a swamp. So, 7, 6, 5, if we sack the Aetherborn, which we can afford. So we can Aetherborn, crew up a copter, Mindbender, take the last two cards out of his hand, potentially. Swing in for 6, or even more than that, if we've got the copter down. Hmm. Oh, we could just wait until we've got the scrounger to sack that instead. Maybe that was a better play, actually. Well, we know we're crewing here. We can still mind bender. We don't know what any of the cards are in his hand. I'm hoping one of them's an Ulamog so we can get it off. Out of our minds. I think we're just going to attack for six here. Actually, we'll just crew up with your henny. Same amount of damage, except for we get two loots. He had something. Titan's Presence. Ah. No, he's not going to use it. Alright. 
Um, so that was three converting mana cost. I think we'll get rid of the implement. Another mind bender. Uh, the second one's not going to be too good. Now he tightens presence. Going for Yeheni, revealing Kozilek. It's 10 mana, 4, 5, 6, 7. We can hold off on the Mindbender, I think. Hope he hits something that's really expensive, because we can potentially hit... Actually, be able to cast whatever the other option is. So... We probably want to take... Take Kozilek out of his hand. Oh, crap. It's not indestructible, though, so we have murder for it. But... Saying that, he already gets some of the advantage out of it because it refuels his hand. So it is going to be Mindbender next turn from the Scrap Eats Grounder. And if he doesn't cast whatever he gets with Telling Time, we'll take that as well. Walker of the Wastes. Alright, we can murder that and still get back our Scrounger. So that's fine. We are down to three though, so we're currently close. Alright, murder that. And Scrounger. Take out Koth Fed. Oh, he's had enough. Alright, so. Crew up. The Smuggler's Copter. And Mindbender. To take the Kozilek. So he's got nothing. And take it. Crew up with our Mindbender. Hit him for eight. We have removal for his Void Grafter. So we're not taking a hit next turn. Sure. Languish, don't want it. Yeah, and his expertise, don't want it. And I think we'll grasp this while he can't do anything about it. So, I don't think there's anything he can do here. Because he can't get rid of our smugglers' copters, which is going to be the game. And we get to make our titans. That can swing in for a lot of damage. Could even get out our other scrounger to hit him with the smugglers' copter again, but CBA. Let's go! Yes. It was another land. Sweet. And that's going to be game. Alright guys, that's going to do it for today. We'll be back tomorrow for some more matches. As always, if you enjoyed the content, then be sure to leave a like. It helps me out a great deal. Let's me know you're enjoying the magic content. Um, this is a subscriber deck, so if you do want to have your deck featured in a future video series, then be sure to leave it in the comments section below, or email me, which is in the description as well, or you can send it to me on Twitter. Whichever one is fine with you is fine with me. Uh, be sure to subscribe for some more Magic Jewels content in the future. As always, I apologise for this one being late, but we'll be, be back on schedule. Uh, Friday again will be another deck, uh, which is going to be a very special one. It's one that I'm very excited to play. It's very janky, I won't deny that, but it's going to be a lot of fun anyway. So subscribe for that. And if you want to be notified when I release new videos, be sure to hit the little bell icon next to the subscription button as well. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>